again and hey I'm just sitting here admiring a master item I created this govern measure out here that's got this formula I, I, I've even created some nice metadata that explains exactly what this thing is I've got some tags for it it's a great measure it's something that's now governed and, and people can use it but how do they use it that's kind of the key thing everybody does calculations but where do you do them and how do they work in in a former life i, I built a lot of stuff into warehouses we pre-aggregated we ran that formula pre-aggregated it and depending what level of the cube that i sliced or diced in my olap system i got a number the difference is we don't pre-aggregate anything we've got all the raw data and this calculation is done on the fly at whatever level it's being asked to be displayed at so if i take this measure and i just put it on my screen this is my number of admits for the entire system if i happen to have something on here like a location And the user were to filter to any location it will show them that information um, which is nice but maybe i don't want to use a filter maybe i want to have a box here and i want to do a bar chart for those locations instead and so maybe i find that location and i add that measure and, and i just get these numbers and of course i'm going to come down here I'm going to say of course i want to see the value labels and now oh, man that's silly to show it that way i want to see it this way because that looks much better and boom it's the calculation was run at that dimension level but wait it gets even better than that maybe i've got multiple dimensions maybe i'm, I'm going to do a tree map and i want to do this at an age group level and i want to gender and then of course i'm going to use that same single expression and I get this and now I need to come down here and I'm going to put the value labels on in there and guess what I'm, I've now sliced this and diced this down to age group and gender right but oh wait now nah, man that was silly I, I didn't I didn't really want gender that I, that's not the dimension I wanted I really wanted county okay let's do it that way that's called analytics this isn't some static report where I'm bringing in data that's pre-aggregated. I'm figuring out these values on the fly. I can go as far as you want to with this. We want to do a pivot table with a whole bunch of dimensions. Let's go there. Let's look at location. Let's add something else. Let's go ahead and add another row for counties. Hey, let's go ahead and add another row for gender. Hey, let's add a row for hour. Let's add a row for anything we want. Let me go ahead and add my measure here. I'm going to pick that same measure. And guess what? I can come in here and I can click into this and I get these numbers rolled up at each level. And it keeps these subtotals. Hey, I know for the whole hospital it's this, for this county it's this, for females it's that, for males it's that these calculations can be run whatever the dimensions are that are being used in the visual if i need something simple like the whole system if i need it to be at a single layer if i need it to be broken down two dimensionally if i want three dimensions five dimensions a hundred dimensions the calculations are done on the fly and the beauty is all my raw data is there if somebody says i don't believe it was really nine okay let me show you those raw details to get that I don't have to rebuild formulas at different functions or roll them up certain ways I just build a function once and I let the system go get it I got a lot more work to do because there's a whole lot of measures I need to build out and I probably want to visualize this 10 different